Hello all my dear students as you can see this is one of the most important question of pipe and cistern where we have both inlet and outlet pipes and here you are going to get the clear concept regarding this type of sums and you will not have any kind of further doubt from this particular chapter so don't miss the video was the complete video to clear your concept let us go through the question first here it is given an inlet pipe can fill an empty tank in four and a half hour so an inlet pipe let it be p it can fill the total tank in four and a half hour while an outlet pipe so let it be l so drains a completely filled tank in seven and one by five hour so another one pipe is there which is an outlet pipe or a leak which takes seven one by five hours to empty the tank so here in the first case it is given four and a half hours so we can convert this into improper fraction that is four to the eight plus one nine by two hour so pipe is taking nine by two hours to completely fill the empty tank whereas the leak is taking 7 1 by 5 hours to empty the tank so 7 1 by 5 you can write 7 5 is the 35 plus 136 by 5 hours so the leak or the outlet pipe is taking 36 by 5 hours to empty the filled tank now my dear students as we don't know the capacity or how much water can be contained in this particular tank so let us assume that so for that we can take the lcm of the numerators over here that is 9 and 36 that will be 36 because 9 is a factor of 36 or 9 can completely divide 36 so here 36 unit let it be the total capacity or the total water content in a completely filled tank so from here we can find out the efficiency which is equal to total work divided by time so inlet pipe the efficiency will be 36 divided by 9 by 2 so 36 divided by 9 if you do you will get here 4 and this 2 will come in the numerator so 4 to the 8 so 8 unit per hour that means this inlet pipe can fill 8 unit of water in an hour Similarly, in case of this outlet pipe or leak, it will be 36 divided by 36, that is 1, 1 into 5, you are getting 5. But in this case, as this is leak, it will be negative efficiency, so minus 5 unit per hour. So, it can empty 5 unit of water per hour. Now, as these two pipes are opened alternately, one after another so 8 minus 5 if you do then you will get 3 unit so 3 unit of water can be filled in 2 hours so 3 unit per 2 hour so we can say that in 2 hours if these pipes are opened alternatively 1 hour each then it can fill in 2 hour that is 3 unit of water let us come to the conceptual part that is very important for this particular sum. If you will subtract this positive efficiency from 36 and start calculation but that is a big mistake in this case. What you need to do is with 3 you need to multiply a number such that whatever you will get over here this and the difference of this total unit of work that is 36 unit must be more or greater than this negative efficiency. So, if we take over here 3 into 12, can we take 12? No, because here 3 into 12 you will get 36 and 36 minus 36 you are getting 0. So, 0 is not more than 5. So, let us take 11 over here. If we take 11. 11 into 3 you will get 33 and 36 minus 33 is 3. So 3 is also not more than 5. So we cannot take 11 as well. So let us see whether we can take 10 or not. So 3 into 10 if we do. So 3 into 10 is 30 and 36 minus 30 you are getting here 6 and 6 is more than 5. So we can take over here 10. Here if we multiply 3 into 10 you are getting 30 unit of work. So similarly on the left hand side with 
टाइम ऑल्सो यू नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई टेन सो टू आवर इंटू टेन इफ यू डू देन यू विल गेट हियर ट्वेंटी आवर सो इन ट्वेंटी आवर हियर थर्टी यूनिट ऑफ वर्क विल बी कम्प्लीटेड बट नाउ ऑल्सो एज यू कैन सी थर्टी सिक्स माइनस थर्टी दैट इज सिक्स यूनिट ऑफ वर्क इज स्टिल लेफ्ट सो हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट फॉर दिस सो हियर एज इट इज सेड दैट is given starting with the inlet pipe so inlet pipe will start the work so here as six unit of work is left and this inlet pipe can fill eight unit of water per hour as the efficiency of inlet pipe is eight unit per hour that is in an hour it can fill eight unit of waters you can easily find out in what time it can fill Six unit of water. So six unit divided by eight unit per hour directly. If you do, then unit and unit will get cancelled, and you are left with six by eight hour. That is three by four after cancellation. So three by four hour. So previously it was twenty hour, and now three by four hours. So twenty whole three by four hours will be your final answer. That is option A. My dear students with this we come to the end of this particular video if you find the content of this video helpful to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and to get notification of newly uploaded important contents of our channel you need to click on the bell icon 